Shalom. Kahu Laila. Yahawa. Bahashim. Yahawa Shai. Bahashim. Rekon Kadash. All praises be to the Most High. Yahawa. In the name of His Son. And our Lord and Savior. Yahawa Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, and pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honors and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson entitled A Universal Doctrine. So, one of the keys to creating a universal doctrine, Catholic means universal. One of the keys in order to establish this type of doctrine, you must cut off the male bloodline the seed of the nation of Israel. That's why all the heathen and Gentile nations came together and said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. So that means they had to create a queen of heaven doctrine built on feminism or Catholicism, and Catholic means universal, in which all nations are promised salvation. <coughs> so these are some images of the Queen of Heaven. Also goes back to ancient Babylon, Semiramis's and Tammuz. See? Let's go into the word. We'll start here in the book of Psalms, chapter 83. The book of Psalms, chapter 83. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. So we're hidden because of this crafty counsel and the introduction of a universal doctrine and hiding a people in which the royal noble bloodline came through. The descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and the noble bloodline descendants of King David. So that is one of the keys to cutting off Israel from being a nation. Let's read it again. Psalms 83, verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. Let's go into that word, counsel. Comes from the Hebrew. Strong's age, 5475. Sold. Sold. Assembly. Counsel. Secret counsel. So this starts with the illuminated ones or the so-called Illuminati, the Luciferians. Lucifer means light bearer. So their light is as darkness. So that's why we have a United Nations Assembly, General Assembly, and Council Council on Foreign Relations, or CFR. These nations know who we are.
secret council. So they meet in darkness. Pursuant to Job chapter 5. And they work wickedness on their beds. That means their secret chambers. Pursuant to Proverbs chapter 4. Let's go here. So we're going to show you and prove without a shadow of a doubt that Mary received sperm. Mary was somewhere between the age of 12 and 14. Because according to the Bible, once a young damsel passed her flower, which means her menstrual cycle, she is ready to give childbirth, which means she's ready to be married. Marriage, according to the Bible, is sexual intercourse. So Mary was somewhere around 12 and a half to 14 years old. Let's go to Luke 2 and 21. The book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 21. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Yahushai, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. So the Greek injection, Jesus or Jebus, was not there. How do we know that? Just read Acts chapter 26, verse 14 and verse 15. In the Hebrew tongue, he confessed his name. Yahawashai means he will deliver, deliverer, or savior. So if a baby is circumcised before the eighth day, then you can damage the young child's health because the vitamin K supplement is not being adequately or sufficiently produced. So the, the Bible is our prescription of health and wellness, an instruction booklet that leads to life. Luke 2 and 21. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Yahushai, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Let's go into that word conceived. Comes from the Greek. Strong's G 4815. Sulambano. Sulambano. Conceive of a woman. Let's get to the key point. Luke 2, verse 22. And when the days of her purification according to the law of Moses were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. So Yahushai was born or conceived of a woman. Why did Mary have to go through purification? Because she received seed, which is sperm. So she had to be bathed, washed, or cleaned. Let's go into the word purification. Comes from the Greek. Strong's G 2512, Katharismas, Katharismas. Cleansing, purification, washing. So this is written in our law. If you receive or come into contact with semen or sperm, then you must wash or bathe yourself. 
Let's prove that. Let's go to Leviticus 15 or 16. The book of Leviticus chapter 15 or 16. And if any man's seed of copulation go out from him, then he shall wash all his flesh in water and be unclean unto the evening and every garment and every skin whereon is the seed of copulation shall be washed with water and be unclean unto the evening. The woman also with whom man lie with seed of copulation, they shall both bathe themselves in water and be unclean unto the evening. So that seed, let's go into it. What is that seed? Why is she bathing herself? Comes from the Hebrew. Strong's age 2233. Zerah. Zerah. I'm going to highlight it. Semen. What is semen? Sperm. So we all come from the seas or the waters. Peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. Sea men. See? Let's go back to Luke 2 and 22. And when the days of her purification according to the law of Moses were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. So Mary had to wash away or bathe to be cleansed of the seed, the sperm that she received. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon 7. So this is talking about the birth of our Lord and Savior. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 1. I myself also am a mortal man, like to all, and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. As Verse 2, so King Solomon, that's the same spirit of Yahawashai. So through the reincarnation, the spirit of King Solomon came back as Yahawashai. I myself also am a mortal man, like to all and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth and in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the one time of 10 months, being compacted in blood of the seed of man and the pleasure that came with sleep. The seed of man, that is a male spermal bloodline of nobility, royal class, the seed of Jacob. And when I was, verse three, and when I was born, I drew in the common air and fell upon the earth, which is of like nature. And the first voice which I uttered was crying, as others do. I was nursed in swaddling clothes and that with care. See, Yahawashai was wrapped in swaddling clothes or blankets. Let's go to John 7, verse 41. Let's go to verse 40. Many of the people, therefore, when they heard this saying, said of a truth, 
many of the people, therefore, when they heard the saying, saying of a truth, this is the prophet. What prophet? Prophesy in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 15 through 18. Verse 41. Others said, this is the Hamashiach. But some said, Shall Hamashiach come out of Galilee? So there was division because of him. So they were confused of the prophetic scriptures. Verse 42. Have not the scriptures said that Hamashiach cometh of the seed of David and out of the town of Bethlehem where David was? Of the seed of David. So when we follow the genealogy in Matthew chapter 1, Yahweh is the direct bloodline lineage of the kings of David and the kings of Jacob. So that seed ties back to the male spermal bloodline. Verse 42 again. Hath not the scripture said that Hamashiach cometh of the seed of David and out of the town of Bethlehem where David was? So Moses spoke about being the priest of the Most High a chosen people. And it's also links into Revelations 5 and 10, a nation of kings and priests. Let's go to Revelations 22 and 16. The book of Revelations chapter 22, verse 16. I, Yahweh Shai, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. So the root is Adam. He was also on the earth as Adam. And the offspring, that's King Solomon. So his reincarnations is Adam. Melchizedek, or Malak Tazadak, king of righteousness, and Solomon, the offspring of King David. Matter of fact, let's go here. First Corinthians 15. And 23, somewhere in there. First Corinthians 15 and 21. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. Death came through Adam. And life is going to come through the same spirit which is Yahweh Shai. Verse 22, For as in Adam all die, even so in Hamashiach shall all be made alive. Perfect balance. So we were shown mercy when King Solomon came onto the earth. Forty years of peace. Four represents mercy. 1 Corinthians 15 and 23. But every man in his own order, Hamashiach, the first fruits, afterward they that are Hamashiachs at his coming, the house of David, followed by the remnant of the hopeful elect. One more. Revelations 5. Verse 5. 
and and one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. So through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, the lion of the tribe of Judah, we have the gift of the Holy Spirit, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Pursuant to Hebrews 7 and 14, he's born of the tribe of Judah. So the Immaculate Conception was created in order to establish a universal one world religion, one size fits all which is false. The Most High is going to save the elect of the house of Jacob, of the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the royal bloodline of the house of David, a noble class, a royal holy seed that's not cut off from being a nation. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Mahashem, Rakakadash, Rakatham. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Palm Yasharala and Abad Babal. What you got next, Lord willing? Shalom.